How's it going? It's E.T. Eric Timmer from R32 Media. Thought I'd do a little video here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, talking about uh, how, ways to improve the look, the feel, the and hopefully in the end the conversion rate of your your online store, your online shopping cart, your e-commerce site. You know what I mean. So I went through a list of about five things. Let me scoot over hmm? this way. This way. This way. Okay. Number one. First thing on the list is uniformly sized images. So what I mean by this is you want your images to be square or rectangle and you want them to be all the same size. You want the images, the items on the, in the images to be centered nicely, uniformly. So what I mean by that is you have a square, you have image in your inventory piece in the middle. And then your next one, you don't want the inventory piece to be a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, up, down, you know, whatever. So it's going to be uniformly placed so your store looks professional. Yeah, that's number one. Number two, you want excellent quality images. You don't need to hire a professional photographer, but you do need to, to get some good lighting. Possibly buy one of those little uh, light box kits that you can get at Walmart or Costco or, or even order on, on um, eBay and Amazon. So you want... You want to kind of like, depending on the size of your product, if you have a huge product, you can't fit them in there. But if you got a little products like the size of an iPhone or something, you could, you know, put that item in the middle and it'll have lights from the, the side and the back. So there's no shadows and you just take a really good quality camera, probably put it on a small tripod and then snap the images and mess around with them. And then, of course, edit them up in either free solutions would be P Picasa or a little bit. Uh, not so expensive solutions, uh, Photoshop elements, uh, Pixelmator on the Mac is cheap. So things like that, you can kind of crop them and make sure they're identically sized. The images are the images, the items in the images are centered perfectly. Things like that. Next would be you want multiple images, multiple sides. You know, ah, let's use this for example. You're selling a little clock, and you you kind of only have one image showing this way but maybe you want you know kind of you know at least three pictures of various sizes of the thing so people get an idea of what what they're buying you know possibly on the back the front and then kind of a, maybe a diagonal view looking this way things like that so multiple image in the slideshow so so uniformly sized images, excellent, excellent quality images, but you don't necessarily need to get a pro. If you got the money or you have a friend that'll do it for free, that's good too. Multiple images with thumbnails, and when you click them, they should get larger. Thumbnail size get larger, and those should be uniform as well, as closely as possible, with really good quality big pictures. So people, you know, their questions are answered with with the photos. They don't have to email you, or they probably won't even email. They just, eh. I don't want to deal with this store. They they didn't put the effort in to make the quality description and images, you know, high like it should be. Okay, next one is name your images properly. This is kind of a little trick. Sometimes people look on Google or Bing or whatever. They look for images, and when you find the images, if the images are named properly, you know, for example square Lego clock Lego looking Lego block clock or whatever, whatever you want to call it that would appear in a Google search as an image or as and if you have a, the text written which we'll talk about next it'll appear as well so if you name the images in the metadata of the image put the description as well that's kind of, like, kind of a little secret that people don't know instead of just putting image 54637 you know Google doesn't know what this damn image is you know what, what this is an image of so so name your images properly. Well, kind of get a, like a, a naming convention, I guess you could say. What else we got here? Oh, items, sh description should be detailed and keyword rich. Yes. You want good, good, thorough descriptions laid out nicely with bullet points. And you want them to be keyword rich. Some ways you can use to do keyword rich searches are to go to Google, type in keyword research tool. And Google has a keyword research tool that's free. You can type in a keyword and see how many people are actually using those keywords to search. And of course, if you think about it, the more people that are searching for certain keywords, the better chances of, of them finding your site, hopefully. Of course, there's there's a really popular keywords and then there's 
medium, and then there's the long tail one. So some people try to aim for long tail or medium tail, mid tail. Some people want the, the top. So it depends on, yeah, that's a whole nother conversation about SEO, things like that. Okay, so items with great descriptions and, you know, keywords in it that, that people would use to search for Google. Another way is just start typing in Google what the product is and see what Google suggests and use those, those as keywords. That's a very handy trick, yeah. Finally, um, video. Why not put video? Some people would like to see, you know, a little small video of this, you know, of your item, your widget, you know, so they know exactly what they're getting. You know, you do a video like this, then maybe for this one, you probably want to actually, if you were selling this, you want to, you know, show the item so people get the complete idea of what they're getting. Oh, I didn't even know this has a little stand too in the back. Pretty cool. Anyways, you know, this is just an example. I'm not selling this. <laughs> this is my favorite clock. So those are just five items plus a bonus. So uniformly sized images, both the image size and the positioning of the item in, an Im in the image. Quality image, make sure you have good lighting. You don't need the best quality camera. You can take a, an awesome picture with an iPhone 4 or any point and shoot camera. As long as you have decent lighting, a bright area with, you know, clean, if you're setting an item on something, you don't want cr cookie crumbs and stuff around it. You know, common sense things. Multiple images, so people can kind of look at both multiple angles. Name your images properly. Item description, when you're thinking about it, make a really good, nice laid out item descri description with keywords that are rich, rich keywords. So that helps your SEO, help people, helps people find your products. And bonus, maybe use video. Yeah, why not? Yeah. If you can do this a quick video, Make short and sweet, you know, just a little description. Don't even talk on it, just kind of show. Well, you could talk on it, depends, if, you, if up to you. But, you know, there's, there's so many free editing solutions out there to, for the Mac Design Movie, for Windows, as Windows Media Movie Maker. So, you re, and for YouTube, they have built-in editing. So, many ways that you can improve the look and feel of your store to hopefully get people to click, click to buy those items. Okay. This has been Eric Timmer, and you've been watching r32media.com on YouTube. Peace.